Hey guys, John Mad Labs here. Have you ever wanted to buy a Makey Makey? It's basically a board where you can clip it to anything and make it into a controller. You can make bananas into a keyboard, apples into bongos, a Play-Doh into a Super Mario controller. Like, what can you do? I mean, I wanted a Makey Makey, but when I found out that they cost $50, I didn't want it anymore. That's way too expensive for just a small board that you can clip things into. Like, it's not that hard to make. I bet Joy Labs also realized that their Makey Makey was way too expensive, so they made a cheaper version called the Makey Makey Go, which has a single input and costs $20. That's way too overpriced. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make a Makey Makey Go clone with two inputs that cost four times less. So let's get started. Now to make this Makey Makey Go clone, all you need is an Arduino Pro Micro or a clone and a couple of resistors. I'm using 220 kilo ohm resistors and these work perfectly and they're really cheap because they're resistors. And yeah, that's basically the things you need. You also need to connect all the stuff together. You can either use a breadboard and some jumper wires or a soldering iron and some normal wires. So once you have that, it is time to wire everything together. Now to wire everything together, very simple. I'm pretty sure a two-year-old uh, could do this. All you need to do is push this in. You might want to ask your mom for help if you're actually two years old, because this is kind of tough. And then grab your two resistors, bend one to bridge together pins four to eight, and the other resistor to connect pins two and seven and you're done so now all you need to do is upload the code and then you can play around by adding these wires okay I'm gonna explain the code and make it really easy to understand so Arduino says get instructions instructions get somebody that wrote this code made his own instructions and put them there okay uh, Arduino says for these two pins to look for electricity loss. Caveman touch wire, electricity runs away. Arduino says when that happens, press a key on the keyboard. Somebody touch wire, the letter A is pressed. Now whoever made this code uh, wrote his own library, so I'm pretty sure that right here is limiting how much inputs we can have. So even though the Arduino Pro Micro has more than four pins, we can only have two inputs because of that. I tried adding more, it didn't work. But what makes up for it is an LED pin. So you can plug in an LED and have it flash whenever you tap the wire. And you can change the keyboard key that is pressed whenever you tap the wire. There's one here and one here. So you can change this and this and the brightness of the LED if you plan on using it but don't change anything else and then plug in your Arduino Pro Micro and upload the code after you're done making your makey makey you'll be pleased to find that every almost every makey makey compatible app is compatible with the makey makey clone because it uses the same chip You'll also be pleased to find that a lot of household items will work with your clone. For example, fruits, slime and putty and play-doh, most metallic objects like coins, and more. And almost every single project that you can do with the Makey Makey Go can be done with the Makey Makey clone. And not only that, some more things. Now one example of a thing you can make is a touchpad for a game called Osu. Now this was the original idea behind the code that I showed you, which is probably the reason why it only has two inputs. Now this touchpad is way cheaper than the commercially available option, and you can also use different objects such as bananas to play this game, but that's not the point.
And here's a proof that fruits can be used as a gamepad. Here's an idea, you can make a fruit bowl that tells you to not touch the fruit when you try to grab one. Don't touch my fruit. Don't touch my fruit. Don't touch my fruit. Yeah, and sometimes it does that. Don't touch. <laughs> you can also take a solid core wire and bend it to whatever shape you want and take a paper clip and make a loop out of it and try to guide it to the other side without touching the wire or else it makes this sound right here. And you can make the loop uh, smaller or bigger depending on how hard you want the course to be. Now there are so many projects that you can do with the Makey Makey clone. You can even get an OTG adapter so you can plug this into your phone and use the Arduino Pro Micro through that. But the problem with all of that is that the port on the Arduino Pro Micro is really weak, and when I tried to unplug it, it broke off. So you have to be really careful to not break this off, or you can glue this port into place with epoxy so it never comes undone. And if you do that, you should be fine, but just remember that the port is really weak and it can break on you at any point. Anyways, I'll leave some links in the description for everything I did, plus a couple more projects that you can do. And that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.